All right, since I did a video of organizing my first aid kind of stuff, I'm going through all of my food, and these are like my basics that I generally always keep a lot of this stuff on my truck. Um, it's a good it's a good base to have, and anytime I go home, I replace anything that I'm running out of. So just a quick, I have sugar on my truck. Um, if I want it in like my hot cocoa or something, um, I got some Hunt's tomato sauce. I have a can opener in here. I have coconut oil because I use my skillet and I cook stuff up in the skillet. There's small, these are little little cans of beans. There's some refried beans because I like to do a lot of tacos and stuff. Um, little salt packets in case I just want to use that. I got some of these jelly things. Bag clips, clip bags, whatever. I normally have a few of these peppermint but there's honey I also have this one because I like to dip my chicken nuggets in honey so this is just salt this is garlic salt Italian seasoning onion powder taco um, this is peanut butter it's Jif peanut butter because it's the only peanut butter to eat and what I do actually a friend of mine introduced me to this it's in like serving sizes um, we took a jerky gun and we filled it full of peanut butter and then we put the tip of the jerky gun into like the, you can see that these are attached anyways we put it down at the bottom here and then we would fill it up with a couple of rows of peanut butter and then seal it and then we would go through and do another row and we had like I don't know there's like five or six of them generally when I pull them out though I'm just reaching in and grabbing so some of these have more we were experimenting with different sizes these are small but this is great for if you like want celery and you want to put these are huge <laughs> um, you want to put some peanut butter on it or you just want a serving on your toast or peanut butter and jelly sandwich or whatever this is quick easy and you don't have to use any utensils for it um, I've got what is this just all-purpose seasoning Here's some breakfast blend. This stuff is really good on pretty much everything. Olive oil again, like the coconut oil. Um, just some samples. I try different kinds just to see what I like. I got some jello mixes and stuff that I put in like my yogurt just to kind of flavor it up a little bit. I add this to my water. This is what I drink. Um, I have lemon and strawberry. I don't know where the strawberry is, but that's what I generally drink during the day. Here's some mini uh, bagels. I very rarely eat these. The sodium in it would kill me, but it's great in an emergency. If I'm not feeling good, that's what it's there for. Again, in the winter time, if I'm feeling chilly and I got my marshmallows, just some little street taco sized burrito, taco, whatever you want to make out of it. Sometimes I shred it up and just mix it up into a bowl. I have the ginger chews in case I'm not feeling good in the morning, my stomach's upset. Those things are the best. They help calm my stomach, that and maybe a little bit of ginger ale. These, I was introduced by a couple of Mexican drivers who uh, invited me into their truck and served me a Mexican lunch and it was very spicy. And these cookies take the spice out after you're done eating, it helps cool everything down. So. I keep those in case I ever run into those guys again and they want to feed me. They're from Monterey. Uh, they were super friendly. They said when, when we eat, everybody eats. So they were serving everybody around us, all the other truckers and everything. They made this huge lunch out of everything because we were all waiting to get uh, loaded at a shipper and they were taking forever. So these guys busted out all their food and they were making food for everybody. And so that was fun and those are actually really good and I will keep those on me at all times. Um, some rice pilaf, some not, I don't really use these anymore. I get a huge container of sticky white rice from Costco because these, these don't, these don't have any flavor. They're just kind of blah. Same with the jasmine rice. I generally have a lot of instant potatoes, which generally you're like, ew, instant potatoes. They're actually not that bad. Okay. So on a truck, it's really hard to make authentic mashed potatoes. So we go with the box stuff because it's just, easier um, here's just some stuff that makes like a quick easy breakfast or lunch uh, Velveeta shells and cheese this is a lot of um, oatmeal I got fruit snacks um, I got stuff still up in the up there 
and still up there that I haven't gone through yet. But I wanted to pull as much out as possible. I don't really have a whole lot of space on my bed at this point because I'm trying to organize it all. And maybe because I had to throw some of the tortillas out, they were um, they were hard because sometimes I just buy too much and I don't realize how much I have on my truck. Um, so like I said, this is like a whole Dollar General and then some half of Walmart too um, because I like to have a variety. I never know what I'm going to be in the mood for. And if I want burritos, then I got burritos. If I want mashed potatoes or rice or I have smoked sausage in the fridge or if I just want a bagel, I got cream cheese. In the fridge so I have my sandwich maker which toasts the bagels if I want them toasted or I just warm them up in the microwave um, just try to have a variety of things so that way I'm not ever tempted to eat the garbage that's at the truck stops because I don't eat that crap it it ugh, I don't know what's in it I can't stand that stuff it's just not healthy for you the diners all of that no thank you so this is a good basic example of what I have on my truck that's obviously not in the fridge or the freezer. Um, the spices, I keep things simple. I'm not a big fan of having a bunch of different spices and stuff because I don't, I grew up, my, my parents um, cooked things and it was very bland. So I grew up with a very bland diet to begin with. So I don't really add a whole lot. Like that's about as spicy as it gets for me. Um, you know, my, my mom was Ukrainian and we just ate a lot of pierogies and chicken and broccoli and, and very little of it had any kind of seasoning because my grandparents, they, they just didn't have the money for seasoning when they were kids. And so that's what they grew up on. So that's what I grew up on. And so that's what I just keep eating. And it's simple. It makes life super easy. And that's, it's, it's a lot healthier too. So there you go. That's a quick, well, not really quick, seven minutes in, sorry an overview of some of my basics that I have on the truck. Hopefully that helps somebody.